Hello everyone, today we will be discussing about sustainability and eco-design. So the first and most important question we need to ask ourselves. Are we sustainable or not? So <clears throat> this you need to think a little bit more. Are we sustainable or not? So what do you think? Do you think we are sustainable? Do you think we are doing the right thing which we should do? Or not? So, while we are thinking on that, let us see what is exactly is happening to the world's atmosphere. According to the climate.nasa.gov data from the NASA, it shows that the temperature of earth goes in a cycle. So it increases over a period of time, multiple years and then thousands of years and slowly it will going to decrease, then slowly it is going to increase, slowly it is going to decrease, slowly it is going to increase, slowly it is going to decrease. So now we are seeing that the global atmospheric temperature is rising. The question is that in any case the global temperature is supposed to rise now and it will decrease according to the uh, according to the finding. So do we need to really worry about this or not? The reason is that even though we the global temperature is rising and falling, still there is an issue. Issue is that in after 1950 level, it has been found that the cycle is broken. Temperature is going beyond what is the maximum temperature achieved in the previous cycle or the previous cycle. It is much, much higher now. So, there is evidence that climate change is something which is happening, it is artificially done, using especially for greenhouse gases and there is now no, no question of issues or any doubt and the intergovernment panel on climate change told something which is very important that global temperature has, has rose beyond what it should have been now. So apart from that, there is some lot of scientific evidence also. Sea level rise. Global sea level rise by about 17 centimeters, 6.7 inches in the last century. And this is a very important and issue. Maldives are vulnerable to sea changes. India also. Some of the coastal areas in India, part of Odisha, part of Mumbai, part of Kolkata, some part of Sundarban, and possibly some part of South India. One of the biggest challenge of sea water lies which is going to be there for USA is the New York. So don't expect that this is going to suddenly rise. No, slowly it's going to rise. Slowly you're going to we are going to get a effect of the sea water rise. It is going to change the uh, the useful area which is there for mankind in each of these uh, areas where what I mentioned. This is something which is already happening, it's going to happen. Global temperature rise. Global temperature is rising enormously in the last few years. Warming oceans, the oceans have much of the increased heat. 
the last many years and due to heat especially the top 700 meters the heat is being absorbed the temperature of the global oceans are rising is something which is something to really worry shrinking ice caps the greenland and arctic sea ice sheets has decreased in mass data from the nasa gravity recovery and climate experiment shows greenland lost about 150 to 250 cubic kilometers that is really a big amount 36 to 60 cubic miles of ice per year in from 2002 to 2006 antarctica lost about 150 cubic kilometers of ice india there are lot of reduction in the ice level in himalayas declining arctic sea what sea ice glacial retreat it is happening in india you see the, the northern side in himalayas glacial retreat extreme events ocean acidification and that is going to have big impact on the flora and fauna of the ocean decreased snow cover is something something like all these things are scientific evidence that this is happening changes will continue through the century century and beyond temperature will continue to rise research has found out even if we stop all the emissions today the effect of this emission it will affect the previous emissions will be still the continue because we have used we have added we are adding emissions every day and night in the atmosphere so even if you stop somehow we stop all the emissions emission new emissions <coughs> today the effect is still there it will still increase the temperature of the earth so this is something which is important to understand four species of seasons sometime season are changing so whenever we have cold on particular month after few years it is changing now precipitation pattern our livelihood especially in india and many other asian countries even part of the us and and other countries also uh, livelihood of human beings is very much dependent on agriculture and agriculture is affected predominantly by the rainfall so if rainfall pattern changes the agriculture will have an effect more droughts and heat waves hurricanes will be stronger and intense sea level will rise to 100 1 to 4 feet and then arctic will become ice free sea level is rising we are losing land so the effect of this climate change are there humidity is changing ten indicators air air, air temperature is changing then uh, temperature over oceans is increasing sea level is uh, sea surface temperature increasing there are so many things which are not desirable are happening due to this climate change there are other effects we think the climate change is about over temperature increase and all that not the thing climate change and resource reduction is going to have predominantly lot of other effects which is a, it is a bigger effect also especially in the take for example a war because of the resources are so limited nowadays what we are doing we are creating lot of waste you see a bottle of water you go travel previously during when we are we need to be child our parents used to carry that 
uh, water bottles made up either metals or uh, other ways recyclable so we used to fill the water use it again bring it back use it multiple times so those are water bottles which are bigger size for the family and then we used to carry that nowadays you go you go and buy mineral water bottle 10 rupees 20 rupees drink it and then throw the bottle out and we imagine we assume that somebody is going to pick up this water bottle recycle it or re or clean it or recycle it and make a new water bottle and give it to us that is not going to happen that easily who is going to do it did he paid for it nobody so ultimately what is going to happen is that this material is going to go to landfill now what is happening with landfill let us go to understand a little bit in depth landfill is what is landfill all these waste plastic some are sometime metals uh, then uh, sometime uh, bio waste sometime hazardous waste sometime other waste all this going in the landfill so what is this landfill landfill is the place where this all this waste has been dumped but is it that only thing is happening every days every day not 1 kg or 1000 kg thousands of thousands of kgs of waste is being generated by bigger cities why is the space to keep all this land landfill there no space much in the city designated spaces are getting filled recycling is happening we are not disagreeing but the amount of recycling is very less what should have been plastic can be recycled to 98% almost but actually they found in research in, uh, in many places almost the maximum 60% generally get recycled so what is happening to so many things is basically waste nowadays people are dumping waste in the sea because the no space is there once we dump material in the sea that amount of resources which is supposed to be recycled chance of recycling is completely gone permanently so what we see here Somalian war is one of the example where the natural resources are reduced and then war is created was created one of the reason so uh, climate change has lot many adverse effect on us which we sometime do not even know or understand economic collapse is another one natural disasters such as hurricanes and flood as an effect of global warming process and ends up becoming a costly affair to the government in terms of clean up cost rehabilitation so when you talking about natural natural calamities like hurricanes this is not at all something new which is happening for many years 50 years 100 years 200 years back also hurricane used to be there flood used to be there so why need to worry about now it is the intensity and the how many times it is happening how often it is happening now it is increased you can see some of the uh, like recent uh, this recent this um, hurricane which is there in bay of bengal in uh, in other areas near bombay near kolkata these are not something which is which which was there previously the intensity is much higher human health research states that more than 150000 people die of climate related diseases yearly and all these viruses cholera virus lyme virus these are all basically affecting also there is a saying even though it is not officially done but it is saying is and to some extent the saying is true right the lot of lot of things are being happening in this atmosphere in this place and when people are creating this products emissions being created so whenever we have this emissions the human health is going to get affected 
and so that when the emissions are not just local it is also global now when we are talking about these emissions the first thing is coming in the mind that climate change is happening for different diff different reasons yes there are reasons what are the reasons the sun's orbit earth orbit rotating around the sun dipping continents volcanic eruptions greenhouse gases all these things are responsible for climate change but you think little bit think what is happening to all this before 50 years 100 years all these things are there there are also volcanic volcanic eruption was there if you see the past history so what is the major thing which is happening is there is something which is really worrying is the greenhouse gases the amount of greenhouse gases which we going to use or emit is much much higher now so many of you i think many of you know about green house effect green house effect is basically caused by green house gases so green house effect is where you would have seen a uh, green house especially uh, people who are in especially in cultivation or horticulture they have a house and uh, the made, it is made of uh, some kind of cover green cover or plastic cover and it uh, and inside there are some uh, plants will be there <coughs> so the design of this green house is such a way that when sunlight enters it en enters with heat also okay. but the heat gets trapped in the greenhouse so similarly in the earth atmosphere also ideally what is should happen is that the solar solar light is going to come it's going to some other portion is going to reflect back some is going to get absorbed some some is going to some portion is going to leave so then a balance is maintained during the day and night time more heat is getting dissipated and similarly there is a balance between day and night between day and night and the temperature is going to get uh, balanced with respect to uh, the the weather of that place now when these greenhouse gases are there basically these greenhouse gases is going to trap this heat it's not going to allow the heat to come out of this earth atmosphere that easily it take time so the earth atmosphere is constantly getting heated up due to this not allow not availability of the way to get out this heat and that's what the causing is greenhouse so the question is what causes this greenhouse so greenhouse is being caused by greenhouse gas It is a gas in which the atmosphere that absorbs and emits radiation within the thermal infrared range. This process is the fundamental cause of greenhouse effect. So there are multiple gases which are responsible for greenhouse effect. The first and most important of them, and most commonly, uh, the carbon dioxide. so carbon dioxide enters in the atmosphere through the burning of fossil fuel oil natural gas coal soil waste solid waste sorry solid waste trees wood products and also as a result of other chemical reactions manufacturing of cement carbon dioxide is also removed from atmosphere sequestered which is absorbed in the plants as a part of the biochemical carbon cycle now you can ask question that by default carbon dioxide is a part of the gas which is there in the atmosphere so what is the problem problem is the amount which is going to be there the amount of co2 which is naturally occurring that is fine but when you add more co2 in the atmosphere then it is going to hamper the balance in the heat absorption 
ability of the atmosphere. So that is the limit and now we are going for going and added more beyond the limit. So what we can do? Carbon sequestration. It is done both naturally and artificially. Naturally, if you want to use planting of trees, these trees are life savers. These trees are required for us. It is going to give us multiple things, fruits, food. But apart from that, it is also going to give a way to sequest the carbon. Sequest means to absorb the carbon, convert the carbon dioxide into oxygen. <coughs> of course, this is happening most of the time is daytime, but that is fine. But research has found that even if we plant the trees, carbon dioxide sequestration is important and we have to do it very, very, very fast. So there is some process which has been done to uh, make the carbon in the liquid format, put it in, uh, in the cylinders and put it under the ground. It is an arrangement to re reduce the effect very fast but not a suitable arrangement because anything can happen to the, to the, to the cylinder later on after multiple years. So there are certain, certain companies which are doing it and uh, they are doing it not just there sometimes it is required to be uh, to request is very fast so they are doing it methane is another one which is emitted during the production of the coal of coal natural gas methane emission so methane is having more potent as a it is a more potent greenhouse gas it is the effect is much more dangerous something like four times as compared to co2 Nitrous oxide. Nitrous oxide is emitted during the agriculture and industrial activities. <coughs> Fluorinated gases, hydrofluorocarbons, perfluorocarbons, sulfur hexafluorides, ozone de depleting substances, OFCs, CFCs, halons. These are many times these are uh, these are potent greenhouse gases. This is high GWP, greenhouse ga warming potential gases. Many times it are free refrigerators, pre previous old refrigerators, these gases are being found. So little bit of emission of these gases will have much higher emission effect compared to even normal CO2. These gases are really dangerous for the atmosphere. So if you see the Indian scenario, climate change which is going to affect natural livelihood of people. In India, in India, there are many, many people who are poor. They are very much dependent on their resources of the natural resources and climate change is affecting India a lot because of this. So now let us understand the climate change on the, especially the emissions, especially in little, little more way in especially India. Per capita income in this slide you see the per capita in, in sorry per capita emission, per capita emission uh, of of multiple countries. Per capita income uh, emission means per capita in, uh, emission means each every person how much emission is doing on an average. For Canada is high, United States are also high, Russian Federation is high. Whereas if you see India is much, much less than even world's average. So then we should be happy or we should be something to worry. Yeah, we should be happy, right? First thing is coming, yeah, our park cap, park cap emission is very less, so why need to worry? People are in other countries, they are doing more emissions than us, which we are fine. Is it true? Just think. Is it true or not? So what is the problem? The problem is that 
total emission. India is having lot many people compared to other countries. Now I think it is like 1.5 billion, 1.3, 1.4 billion people is going to cross, it just crossed or just going to cross uh, the population of China. Now you see, you multiply per capita emission with the total number of people who are living in India, total population. So total emission, if you see, it is pretty high. However, we need to also see that, that the emission, total emission, China is contributing to the world is really high and it is increasing at a drastic stage, but India is also increasing, Russia is also increasing, US is kind of stabilized. So if you see now, India is on the fourth level from the from average now it is China, United States, European Union and then India. So amount of emission, total emission is really, really high for India, something we need to be careful. We need to understand it is our responsibility for government, for companies, for individuals to reduce the emission of India. Now, we are just talking about emissions, but is it really affecting India? How much is it affecting? We should know first. So floods, floods in India. India is the most flood distressed state in the world after Bangladesh. Accounting for one fifth of the global depth, uh, death every year. 30 million people displaced from every, every time you see, you know, that uh, uh, disaster management group has moved uh, lakhs and lakhs of people from one place to another place. These are not free. They don't do any free job. It is being paid by the government or the local government or the people. Imagine, imagine that you are leaving your home for 20 days by force and then you have to stay from some other place and we have had there is your no home is also not there. How much difficult the life is? And this is happening for flood, this is happening for for uh, hurricanes when they are coming. So this is something which is expensive. This is something we need to worry about. We are paying taxpayer money to do all these things. 40 million hectares of the land is vulnerable to floods and 8 million hectares affected by it. When flood comes, everything is gone. The first thing in our mind it comes, oh our uh, important uh, things are there in the home that is going to get affected. But what we don't understand that a flood is there for 6 days, the entire cultivation of that area is completely wiped out. Right? How the plants are going to survive? So cultivation is gone, sewage system is gone, power is gone, system is gone, economy is collapsed, food is not there, good water is not there, people are going to move from one place to another place. Where this kind of thing is happening after before 50 years, 100 years, I think. Top flats in India. 1987 Bihar flood. The flood of 1987 Bihar was so destructive that it left a total of 1,400 people um, and more than 5,000 animal dead. Another another thing, animals. When we are talking about animals, the first thing that come, come in mind, okay, these animals people are having, but they are also animals which are there in the forest and other places. We were not taking care of those those effects. And after flood also a lot of big effects are there. So once I was traveling to Sundavan area and then recently after that big flood which is recently a few years back it has come. People are telling that so after the flood it is so terrible condition that place is. It takes many years to actually uh, make some improvement on it. 20 million people are affected. Droughts, another thing. 
another big 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 issue in india total agricultural land is about 68% is prone to drought 33% chronically drought prone and this is more specifically affecting maharashtra gujarat rajasthan karnataka andhra pradesh and odisha and rajasthan is having a lot of drought prone from where the water is going to come most of the water either comes from the underground pumping system or river or streams if the precipitation system get this changed then all these things is going to happen but now the question is all these affecting what are the things are affecting it is affecting only in india or some other countries also many countries are getting affected so indian in india the heat waves which are there is 1000 1500 uh, uh, there's so many people are getting killed scorching heat nowadays is in so many places there's so many people are getting affected so many people are dying thousands of people got affected in telangana and these are not that we are making we are news is coming news is there if you see the news old newspapers a few years back so all these things are there right so uh, what i'm telling is it is affecting in even in even in pakistan also in karachi pakistan you see the people are getting affected due to heat waves <coughs> the question is can we do something on this the answer is yes we can do something we can we can change the way right now the current condition is we can make ourselves more sustainable so before we do this we have to understand what is sustainability and how we can measure it and how we can develop products which are sustainable <coughs>